hi this is Eric again and we're gonna talk about add input add commands and add transition we're gonna stay a little bit focused on the add inputs like it's very very important because these people have been asking questions about how you can actually uh, add the live camera so let's just dive into it I'm gonna open vmix uh, side by side so we can see what we're gonna do so um, we're gonna take this uh, color one and uh, this color and this color we're gonna see them or the color but these three things we're gonna see them as let's say for instance this is our camera that we we brought into vmix you can actually uh, refer to any input that is in vmix and then you can use it in vtask and tell it when to start showing that particular input and then when to stop it so let's say before we start uh, or maybe after we play the milk of video this one after we play this one I want to show this green color here uh, let's say that's our camera i don't have any camera attached to with this uh computer so that's why i'm gonna use basic colors to show but it works for every other input that's in vmix so let's say this is my camera and i want to show the camera after the milk i'm gonna have to select the milk and then add vmix input and when we put it here what it essentially does is we double click it the properties so what you need is the title of the input inside vmix that you want to show at that time so here we can actually go into vmix and copy the title of whatever we need or actually we can put the input number so in this case if we put number two it's going to refer to this color but it's always a good practice to use the name of of the fiber here is the case that we have color as the same name of this one so we, we might want to change it a little bit so we don't get confused so I'm gonna change this one to camera so that we don't confuse because we can't have oh sorry about my spelling sense camera all right so I change that one to camera so that's the name referring to the camera and then this is color so I can then put the same name over here I put the same name here so what it is that now we're telling it that when you finish playing the milk and we get here you're gonna look for camera inside vmix and and then do whatever you want to do it's gonna play that one so that's what we're saying so one thing that we need to make sure we do is we go back to the properties we want to set the trim out time that's actually essentially the duration we want to uh, view this camera for so in this schedule we can say okay after the milk view the camera for about 10 seconds be so 10 seconds and then you can actually set in and out but if it's a camera you don't need in and out because it's a live video so we want to show the camera for 10 seconds that's what I put here and then that's it so it's gonna play the milk show the camera for 10 seconds and continue with uh, let me just put this road here because this is music so we can actually see so that's what we're gonna do we play the milk go to vmix and play camera for 10 seconds that's what's here and then go ahead to play the road so let's see if that one works so we connect to vmix right now and well, we're using the api whether well, api or ndi it's still going to do this uh add input thing so let's just start it and read time let's actually start from the beginning let's see what's happening here so we start by the milk it plays it at the end of it it's going to play the camera for 10 seconds and go back to the schedule and play the road video so let's see what happens here exactly so now you see in the live camera and it's gonna stay there for 10 seconds and it's gonna switch to the next video that's it so that's how to basically go about it so this add input here it's really a very instrumental uh, command that you can use to do eventually everything inside vmix it doesn't only apply to live camera it applies to any input at all I'm gonna delete this add input right now because we want to focus on another thingy so we go to add commands and we actually have two different commands for, uh, that we can command types that we can add we have the vmix function and we have vita cg function we're gonna go over vita cg function later on a separate video because this is really detailed so i'm gonna focus on the vmix functions first and then we do a separate video explaining the vita cg function so let's go ahead and drop down a vmix function right now when we go to the functions we've got 
a whole lot of functions here all the functions that are inside vmix can be assessed here and we've categorized them for you just as vmix does so you can actually find what you're looking for easily all right so i'm going to show you all these functions here they all have different uh properties but most of them are common and what we're going to do is most of them most of them have got inputs most of them have got selected index du duration and delay delay is not part of a v v mix function delay is a v task uh, property that is exclusive to every command can be delayed and even though this uh the schedule has gotten to that line it could delay the execution of that command even though it's add it, you can set a delay it could be add but it, it would wait in memory when it's when that delay time is up and it's going to execute it and now we've got value and most of the functions also have value that you need to put in for instance the uh, like a titler needs a value for the text and the titler needs a selected index for the line of the text if it's line one or line two so and you can see that a video does not require selected index no value so but a title we need to select an index and the value so you can see that most of it you would need to not worry about this to you but some of it you need to worry about them so let's just dive in and start do something all right so for instance uh i'm gonna set up a lot of things let's say uh, i want to set up um this camera here i want to actually set the if you go to um the overlays I want to set it on overlay 2. I want to make a sentence for overlay 2. I, I just want it to be picture in picture. And then I'm going to scale it down and put it right here. So these are the settings we've set for overlay 2. So if you if you ever overlay anything on 2, it's going to go on that corner over there. All right. So that's what I want so, so that you can see what is going on. All right. So now we, if we want to, uh, we want to play the milk you want to know your commands must must come before uh whatever video you want to see if if you wanted to put this camera on overlay 2 whilst this video was playing you want to set the command before you play the video what i'm basically saying is we can double click here and say we want overlay overlay input one in that's what we want to do and what is the input that we want to overlay so it's the same way we did for the add input we can copy the same name camera or use the input number and put it here and that's it so let's just see what happens when we start playing it now and see what happens okay actually we just start it we, we time it and play okay let's just play again yes so what we did is oh sorry about that well we made a mistake uh, we didn't choose the overlay input one we needed to choose overlay input two because overlay input one overlay input one is actually a full screen we you remember we did a sentence on overlay input two so we just to change that so when we start playing again you could see that even though it executes it it doesn't show it it plays the milk um, let's go ahead and start it again why is it still on overlay input one? Oh, okay yeah because the overlay input one is still on that's why we have an issue alright so let's just start it all over again and see what's happening uh, let's start all over again so we start play the video and then we see it overlay over there so now we can delay the overlay settings so we can set it to like 10,000 alright so that what it means is that even though you execute this first wait and play this milk video after 10 seconds before you overlay so let's just try it again and see well the overlay is already there so let's just take it off so we know so after 10 seconds it's just gonna overlay it on top of it there you go so after 10 seconds we get the overlay now we can take the overlay off we can duplicate it and say uh, we can say after playing the milk video or uh, you can set the overlay off so we can choose overlay and say overlay to off 
so overlay two off with the same camera and we don't want to set we want to do it immediately so we set a delay to one i think this song is actually disturbing me all right so what we're doing is we start again to play and see what we have so first of all let me just take this overlay off and let's just go ahead so after 10 seconds it's going to put it on and after playing the video it's going to take it off so after playing the video it takes it off that's it exactly so if we wanted to start uh, we can we can add another command function before and say before we start everything we want to clear every overlay off so we want to set that one to overlay all off so what we're looking for right now is overlay or off and let's just let's just look for it I'm looking for overlay and overlay all off so that one we can say immediately you start you don't need to put an input it's it's fine so once say immediately we start wherever overlay that we've got on should clear everything and then put the camera overlay to after 10 seconds of the video being played and now we can we can we can say overlay or off again here uh, so we can just delay this one and then duplicate the overlay all off and then bring one of them down here after playing the milk we're gonna wanna take all the overlays off so so let's just see how that one gets into play so in fact I'm gonna just set something on and see if it's gonna work because when you start at the beginning it's gonna clear every overlay off and then start it so let's just start it and see and let's go so place that command see it takes all the overlay off start playing the milk wait for 10 seconds and then put this v uh, overlay on so after 10 seconds it puts that on after playing it it's going to take all of it off again and that's how to use commands so you can actually use commands in so many ways and then by com with a combination of delay and all that you can achieve a whole lot of things I don't worry about this inputs that have been left over anytime it plays the same video again it's because I'm cutting I'm interrupting and going in several times that's why it's leaving the the clips in but whatever he plays that clip again no matter how many uh leftovers that are there is going to take all of them off so for instance if you finish playing this one it's going to take these two off and then whenever it plays the milk again it's going to take that one off as well that should be good so move on to transitions and transition is always uh, very simple we already had, have one in here so if you double click it you can choose any transition you want and vmix so for instance uh if i if i should put a transition and transition works transition works the same way the command works it, they have to come before the video in question so for instance if i wanted uh, i wanted a road video to start with a different transition i can put down a transition before that video double click it and say okay i want to use a, a, a cross zoom transition for it and how was the duration the speed of the transition matter so i can say if i want to use uh, 10 seconds or 10 seconds is it too much uh, I want to use let's say five seconds for that transition duration so 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 after this command has been executed every list onwards is going to use the same transition unless we change it along the line so let's just start from here and see how that one's going to play so we start again uh, we clear all of this if, if there's any and then we're gonna play the milk after 10 seconds we're gonna put the camera on overlay 2 and then after they finish playing take all the overlays off and change the transition to cross zoom before you play the road video so let's see it in action the transition change that there you go we got a transition on so from now on every other video that it plays is gonna use the same transition until we put another transition and change it to cut or wherever we want so that's how transition works